everybody, year number two of Daytona 500 Speed Weeks. We are here at the Speedway this time. I think last time I started the vlog on the road. Uh, we are here at the Daytona International Speedway. Last night, I just got back from a trip from Chick-fil-A corporate headquarters. second job a lot of things have changed since then got home on the plane last night arrived in tampa florida which is my home and drove over to daytona beach florida the next day so here we are at the racetrack today we got qualifying coming up at 8 p.m eastern today was media day didn't make it in time for that i did need some sleep but we are here for qualifying we got the rest of the weekend to go i'm gonna have so much fun baby i'm so excited to be here and y'all are gonna see all of it let's do it What's up, everybody? Day number two. It is Thursday here at Daytona International Speedway. We're headed to the racetrack to catch some action. It's about 12.33 p.m., so the action doesn't start until later, which was nice. Got to sleep in a little bit. Got to walk the beach, do some Daytona things, uh, drive around a little bit. But now it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty. It's time for, I believe, ARCA practice today, and then we got truck practice, uh, and then the Cup Series duels tonight. So, uh, some fun action taking place tonight. Can't wait to get to the track, see some people I ain't seen in months uh, as far as the ARCA and Truck Garage. Xfinity rolls in tomorrow. That'll be my favorite day, personally. Um, but it's going to be a fun day. Nice weather outside, as y'all can see. Just got out of the place I'm staying at, and uh, I'm ready for a great day. Let's do it. To hell, just let me know what you went to. If you out in public and he wants your number, just tell This is my favorite part right here. Driving in, you got the, the World Center racing right there. Yeah, this prowl, they're leaving me. I was following them. We got the hard to practice underway right now. Just walking back from uh, the road area. I don't know if I can. No, I can't zoom on this camera. Um, but yeah, first uh, on track action that has been the Cup Series. First practice session of the weekend, so it's cool to see. Uh, we just had a red flag, car's back in the track. I'm making my way back to the media center because I have to charge my camera because it's dead. All three battery packs are dead. So, gotta charge those back up. Here they come to the flag for duel number one. Logano 
Didn't make that big block. Learned from that lesson, but the energy we were talking about. Side Ford Chevy on the bottom and get a look. Up from Larson. Do you think anything changed from last year as far as the car? Do you think it felt the same? Uh, there's, there's definitely some changes, so we, uh, we're going to work through Oh, no, it's been really tough. We, uh, you know, we, we're, everybody in the industry had to redo clips and some yeah. other things. We had updates on, and then we decided to switch manufacturers, too. So it's been really difficult for our small team. Our people have worked really, really hard to get us here this weekend. So, uh, you know, it's been rough, but we're here racing, and that's why we do it. Well, y'all, another day in the books. Uh, Thursday, the duels were fun. We did get some crashes, some action. Um, another fun day at the racetrack. Got a lot of good photo, good video uh, interviews with people towards the end, as you'll see in the video. If you haven't already seen it, I don't know. I'll edit it after. But tomorrow's going to be a fun day. A lot of action on the racetrack. Truck, Xfinity, Arca, Cup, all in action. Uh, the real stuff starts tomorrow, baby. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the grind. It's going to be morning, morning to night, basically. So we'll see how that all goes. But catch up tomorrow. Day number three, I got the uh, the all black, the black on flit, the OG NASCAR port fit on today. I just had some IHOP, ate some chocolate chip pancakes. I am stuffed, but I'm about to go walk all that off. It's the earliest I'm headed to the track so far this weekend. Like I said yesterday, it's 10 in the morning, but the truck garage is already open, and the Xfinity garage, I believe, is also open. Every garage should be open right now. Um, so we about to get live at Daytona International Speedway. And it's gonna be a fun day. All four series on track. I'm excited. It's at fast light, Friday. Let's turn get right onto Seabreeze Damn. Boulevard. All right, I'm turning right. Now. track right now thanks so much for giving us some of your time and uh look forward to chatting with you or running into you sometime this weekend yeah for sure i can't wait to see it yeah i'm sure i'm sure you hear these cars the, the cup cars are taking the track now they're very loud so i love it, it man there, it, there's no missing these yeah it, it gives it a real authentic feel hey rj take care buddy awesome you guys too thanks for having me on no see doubt you. appreciate it uh Ian was telling me earlier how long RJ's been doing this. And I, I don't know. I think we guessed his age to be around 23. I'll find out when I run into him this weekend. 
But Ian was telling me he's been doing this since he was like 14 or 15 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's a self-made man. Like Luca, huh? Yeah, he's he's totally a self-made man. He loves, <laughs> he loves the sport. You know, he started covering it on his own just as a fan and mm-hmm. developed a real following on Instagram for that and then parlayed that into podcasts. Now he's a writer with tobychristie.com. Pretty sure he does some freelance work with the Cars Tour, which is a short track series up in North Carolina that's owned by Dale Earnhardt Jr., Kevin mm-hmm. Harvick, Justin Marks, and some other folks. So, uh, got it. I mean, he is full blown in the game now, and it all started because he was a hustler when he was in high school. Well, so, imagine being a teenager and you're walking up to some of these, and you're saying, "Here, I'm, I'm here to do this." Not, not that he sounded like yeah, that, but yeah, you, you get what I'm trying to say. 14, like, right? Yeah, you're a teenager, young teenager at that, and and you're well, trying the hair. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, but you're trying to you know to to do all that and and. I think in in these instances when you, when we see this and it, it this isn't to say that he didn't put in his work I know he did but oh, yeah. it's always that one that first step right whatever that is whether it was one driver or one team or you know a, a former driver or something that kind of let him get his foot in the door and then he took off with it mm-hmm. right so very impressive very impressive. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm squeezing right. in here. You want to talk to the people? We got Instagram Live. Hey, what's going, going on, guys? Days. What you got to say? What you, what you looking forward to tonight? I don't know, man. I'm ready for it. Just yeah. going to hang back and kind of take it easy early on. Hopefully at the end be there and just miss all the rest. Talk to the people on here. Hello, people. Hi. What's up, guys? How you doing? Hello. Hello, people. <laughs> we are for the people. <laughs> Chris Wright, I want to talk to the people. I don't think we're going race. What you got to say? What you got for us tonight? Uh, we're we're going to ride. We're going to finish. We're going to be top five. For sure. I like it. IG, what you got to say? Um, ben Rhodes is the winner tonight. But if it's not Ben Rhodes, it's either going to be Chase Elliott, Parker yes. Kligerman, Matt DiMenedetto, or Brett Holmes. Those okay. are the five bets, baby. I like that. I like Let's that. Go. Come on. on tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. What, what can we expect tonight? Really for tonight? Yeah. Chaos. Chaos. Chaos, but I'm going to be the first to finish. Okay, okay. We like that. We like that. We got new colors on the truck. I'm loving it. Let's get a look at that. Baby, there we go. Number five. New colors for Dean tonight. All right, so you're going to be the first one. Absolutely. First one. Let's get it. Good plan. Good luck tonight, brother. Holy Howard has been bouncing around a lot. Oh. Ooh. See what happens to Clay, because right behind him is Daniel Dye, and Daniel was about, oh, Clay just gets loose. Yeah, he kind of got squeezed a little bit in the middle, got loose, and all these other trucks just the victim of circumstances. Yeah, it was when I, um, when they called the red flag, I was down in the middle of three and four on the apron, and one of the um, fire and safety guys came over, and he was looking under the truck, so I guess he was leaving some of those. Uh, he saw small and play, but nothing that I could see. Do you feel like these trucks, I know they bounce a lot, or bounce around a lot, and they're very antsy. Do you feel like the middle, once you get in the middle and it's hectic, you feel like that's a tough place to be? It is, just because there's no room to go. Talladega's a little bit better because yeah. like, you've got a little bit more room to go. But when um, when somebody's on, like, there's just no there's no room once to correct once something yeah. happens. And I think I got, uh, I feel like I got touched and then was just trying to, trying to catch it. Fun year. Uh, ahead of us, so just uh, looking forward to getting going. You've ran some super speedways in Arca, but obviously it's a whole new ball game here with the trucks. What do you feel like, you know, although your, your night ended early, what do you feel like you learned from these trucks? Yeah, um, I mean, they move, they move around a lot, um, which I expected, but it was honestly fun because they're not easy to, to drive in traffic at all, and um, I, I had to really bail out and, and prepare and plan ahead for when I would get side and lose there off the side of my car, so it was a lot of fun, and Really, I'm just excited for Vegas because uh, yeah. I got a chip on my shoulder now. Well, it rained. So, rain struck the first race of the year. I think this happened in the truck race last year, if I'm not mistaken. But it happened again. We actually finished that one. We didn't finish this one. So, it was about 11.30, we waited it out. Didn't work out. Uh, started to rain again. But, unfortunate end of what was a great day. Long day, though. Got here in the morning. It's already about midnight. So, didn't want to be here much longer, but because we got two big days ahead. Tomorrow, another big day. Cup practice starts at 10:30, um, and then everything after that, the rest of the day, uh, and then the big day 2500 on Sunday. So, long day today, tiring day, but uh, it was a fun day. Got a lot of stuff. Got a good article out there that got shared a lot. That was nice. Um, great interviews today as well. Uh, but rain struck. Hopefully, it doesn't the rest of the weekend. We'll see what happens. 
Day four, we in the parking garage, about to leave. Um, it's Saturday. Uh, we got no more truck series, but we got the ARCA race today at one. We got the Xfinity race today at five. We got the cup practice coming up here shortly at 1030, as well as Xfinity qualifying. So a lot going on today. Uh, this is the day that I'm definitely most excited for. It's going to be a fun day. Xfinity race always a great show, uh, and it should go too, too late. So I can, uh, Stay at the track for a while, get some post-race stuff. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, day four, we got two days left. Let's make this day count, baby. This is my favorite part the whole year. You know, we got us we want to start the year strong and uh, go from there. Exactly. Clear grip does on the car and the 45 is in the show. Getting yourself in good position for that, I think it's going to be the key. I think we can definitely, I hope to get a top one. For sure. I like that outlook. We think yep. we thinking the same thing here? Yeah. Say absolutely. what's up to the people. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, I'm hoping everything comes home one piece. Hopefully there's nothing major for any of the cars. I hate to see anyone have to pack it up in pieces. Never a fun thing. Never a fun thing at all. Like, the people want to talk to you. I'm getting comments in the oh, section. They want to talk to you on IG Live. So what you got to say? Let's see. What do oh, you got to say to the people? What do you expect? We're going to send us what we're going to do. We're going straight to the front. We're going straight to the trash can. I'm just not sure which, but we're going to find out here, here real quickly. We're going to find out. Best of luck to you, man. Thank you. Love, you want to say hi to the people? How's it going? Let them know who you are and what you got planned for this year. I'm Leland Heineman, Jr., and uh, I race the 45 part-time for Alpha Prime. He knows, and he's going to make things happen this year for sure. Your first race is Vegas. Right? Phoenix. 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 Yep. That's right. You'll see him in Phoenix driving for Alpha Prime. Yep. Here, I know you had a truck race last night. Yes, sir. Today, you got yep. double duty. A yeah, lot you're going on. Yeah. What you looking forward to today? Well, you know what? We had we had a good run last night. I wasn't expecting it, but we had yeah. a decent run getting in there on 21st with that uh, Ram Brothers 34. And uh, just special thanks to the Mooresville Fire Department for uh, making that happen for us and uh, exactly. making it so we, we weren't fully destructed in the shop. But uh, yeah, today's a different day and uh, we got a really good hot rod here. This is uh, McClure Motorsports number 44 with decked up yeah. marine on it. And uh, you know, Jeff Jeff builds a piece and he and he brings oh, yeah. it to the track. So. He does for sure. Best of luck. Running through, they wanted break. Hey so we found out, what out. We got Brad, we got Mason here. What, what, up? You, what you expect today? It's Arca Day in America. It is. We're gonna see chaos. We're gonna see a super speedway day in America. We got two races. Uh, everybody is worried about the cheese, but don't forget about the trap. I like that. Man, I'm looking for it. Let's make let's make the appearance once again. We're doing the grid walk. Cam <laughs> Costner, he's guys? back. Last time we were at New Smyrna. We were. And now we're at Daytona, we baby. We got a hot rod. Way, man, we came man what way. you looking forward to today? Look, keeping it clean, bringing it home one piece. That is our ultimate goal. So that's all we're looking forward to. We've got some things fixed now, so yep. we're ready to roll and see what we come out with. Exactly. Got an amazing right, piece guys. looking here, amazing scheme. Best of luck to you today, right, man. Thanks, man. Brad, you want to talk to the people? They're, they're, they're looking for you out there. They want, they want to hear some words of wisdom from you. What are you expecting today? Well, we're just looking to, you know, get, obviously finish the race. That's oh, yeah. the biggest thing for us. Exactly. And, uh, you know, we know having the legacy motor, we're not going to outrun anybody. Yeah. But we're going to outlast them. Exactly. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm RJ Starspeak here, tobychrissy.com, and we're about to do a little test run here with this, this new mic I got. We're going to test out how Gridwalk would go. Uh, we got this cameraman, Toby Christy, behind behind the cam. I don't know if you want to flip it to yourself. <laughs> Toby's excited. So we're going to start running through the grid here and uh, chat with some people that are getting ready to race, see who we can find. So we can find Postman is here with us as well. I think he's going to beat us to the interview. He might just beat us. We might have to move on. But let's let's talk. Let's talk to Garrett first. Let's talk to What's Garrett up? Miller here, great friend of mine. He's here with Ryan Ellis today. Uh, you know, you're taking in Daytona. I know you've been here before. What yeah. you looking forward to about this race? Uh, probably not finishing last and actually starting the race. Starting That's the good. Race, yeah, because obviously you guys worked long and long and hard on the car last night, but it, it's ready to go. You made it in. Thankfully for you know yeah. some owner point swappage, the, the the heartbeat hot sauce car is in. And you're ready to go. Oh, yeah. We're excited. We're excited. We're going to work with our teammates tonight, Stefan. And Stefan uh, is in the car. Yeah, so see what we can do. Yes, sir. Let's go try and talk to Ryan down here. I know he's in the middle of a photo op. Let's see if you can make our way through. Brian, real quick. We're, do, we're doing grid walk, man. I got, look at this microphone. It's, it's, That's huge. it's high tech, isn't yeah. it? What do you think? What are you looking forward to the race? You got a game plan? Being in it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie. We're a little bit worried about that. But um, riding. I'm going to ride it. We make it very, very, very boring. 
uh, and be there at the end. That's yeah. how a lot of these guys are really doing here well here. You got a new teammate. It's no longer Caesar Baccarel. It's yeah, Stephen Parsons. Yeah, I found that Parsons, out on Twitter. And he's be, yeah, that's what Garrett ago, said. Yeah. So he's going to be back here with you. You're looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I love working with him. And he's, like, I don't say it about a lot of people, but he deserves it, man. He yeah. really does. He's here all the time. He's grinding the car. He didn't expect that. I'm surprised he wasn't drinking already. But, yeah, he's, he's been behind the wheel. He'll be my teammate. We'll be working together all day. For sure. Oh, yeah. Best of luck to you, man. All right, let's keep moving. Let's talk, uh, let's talk to Parker Chase. A little good walk here. Yeah. You looking forward to the race tonight? Yeah. Sure, uh, it's going to be an interesting start back here. It is. It is. You got a game plan now that you're kind of, you know, in the, in the. I guess they call it the bird's nest. Yeah, yeah. I think just kind of hang out and learn a little bit the first, you know, stage. First half of the second stage. And don't have a plan to stay in the back, but yeah. uh, we take just a little while. We'll go to the front and then we're stuck in the back. We're stuck in the back. So just kind of learn uh, what we can. It's what you got to do. Best of luck to you, man. Thank you. All right. We're going to move it down here. We got Bailey Curry over here, it looks like. Hey, Bailey. Yeah. Doing a little grid walk here. Uh, I know I talked to you earlier. You know, you guys worked out some kinks throughout the week with the car. Uh, I believe you're starting probably around 30th, give or take a few. Some people, I think, are going to the rear as well. Just looking forward to today. You got a game plan? You just going to feel it out? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, you always have a plan going on these things, and then they get blown apart. So we're going to just try to position ourselves in a good spot for the beginning of the third stage. We want to be in a good spot for the uh, green flag stop, and I guess can be the biggest thing. So we'll do that, and uh, hopefully the rest comes together. I like the sound of that. Good luck today, man. We're going to keep it moving around here. Christopher Tate, doing a little grid walk. If you want to get some uh, TD time here. Uh, you, uh, if people don't know, he's the developmental driver for 3F Racing, the team that's coming along in NASCAR. going to run possibly some cup races this year. Obviously, already ran some late model races with them. How was that? What are you looking forward to in 2023? Um, I'm really looking forward to really just do, like, some hopefully ARCA races. I'm looking at a few different ones. Uh, that's about it. That's that and late models. Just really spotty on my schedule. So uh, I'm not very really sure yet. Uh, looking at Daytona next year. So just getting everything really in order. And of course, military stuff. But yeah, I'm not very sure, man. It's just getting everything done. Exactly. That's what you got to do. It's a business. So appreciate it, appreciate it man. We're going to walk through here and see if maybe get a word. We got over here. We got Joe Graff. Let's see if we can get a word with Ross. Maybe after this. Hey, line hey, up. Real quick, what you looking forward to tonight? You got a game plan? Yeah, I got a game plan. You know, just uh, uh, blessed that uh, you know, just everything came together so late for us, oh, yeah. and we're here. A lot of great, great people, great sponsors, uh, great team. Just, just man, it's my 25th year. The dream keeps going, and uh, yes, it does. I'm gonna race five more years I can. But uh, <laughs> we want to be there at the end, give ourselves a chance. So uh, hopefully, whatever we do, we can be there at the end. Yes, sir. Best of luck to you. Let's keep it moving. Right around here. Hey, how you doing, man? You, We're doing a little grid walk. You want to say something to the people? What's up? What you looking forward to tonight? Oh, we're looking forward to winning this son of a bitch, man. Okay. Come on. Yeah, no. Uh, now he's got, you know, we're new this year, obviously. Uh, resurrected our motorsports. They're not dead. Yeah. Uh, contrary to popular belief. Well. And, uh, uh, you know, we're on the A Motor Package, ECR. We got good stuff underneath the hood. He's out in practice yesterday. Yep. It's a solid 14 on the board for the majority of the practice session. And, you know, you got a lot of teams that are out there working together, drafting each other. Those were those were numbers that were better than ours, but he's out there running a clean line, yeah. straight horsepower line. And uh, so we got a lot of things to look forward to. He's got a certain strategy, like just be there in the end, right? Be there in the end, get the whole shot for the win. Um, what you gotta do. But we got, we got, we got the juice to do it. So what you gotta good do. to see you, man. Good uh, to see you, man. We'll see you touch online. Right? Awesome, we will for sure. All right, let's keep moving. All right. Let's see who we got. We got Kyle Zeke here. We're doing a little grid walk. What you got to say, man? What you looking forward to tonight? Uh, just get this season kicked off right, right? Yeah. Go have a good finish and uh, go to Omaha, Montana, right? Hey, That's what you got to do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Best of luck to you, man. Yeah, thank you. It's going to be my favorite part right here. Oh, real quick. Doing a little grid walk real quick. Just quick words of wisdom. We won't take up too much time. What you got to say? Uh, go fast, turn left, don't wreck, win. I like that. Thank you. Best of luck to you. <laughs> Let's go. And that'll conclude the grid walk, y'all. Enjoy the Xfinity race. Burton pushing Justin Allgaier up through the middle. Things getting dicey. And there they go. Allgaier around. Justin Haley got tagged by that, I think. 
Fourth caution of the day, third for a problem on track. You know, what you kind of see in the incident, and do you feel like there was anything really else you could have done? Uh, pro I, I don't know. I have to, like, go look at it everybody says that, but, like, in my mind, it looked like, and I know this is what happened, but whoever was that, I'm assuming they all looked the same behind and yeah. just jammed on the brakes in front of me. And I know he was a crash in front of us. I didn't see it. I didn't hear anything about it. So I was just looking at his rear bumper, and all of a sudden he was parked, basically, and I got in the back of the truck. Literally, like, could not have written a worse script for myself. It's a big gap. 21 has no help right now. Who's going to get that first run? Here comes the one. Sam Mayer's never won in the Xfinity Series. There goes the one to the outside of his teammate. Through the middle of the 21. Oh, my goodness. He's upside down. The caution is out, and now the uh, question becomes, who, the who was leading at the time of caution? Uh, looking forward to going there, which that means to me. And hopefully, uh, sneak out the top 10 or even better. Yeah, yes, sir. Landed, and all we to going to play until, uh, we need to, uh, he's smart than that. He's got a great opportunity if he's going to do this all year. He's going to come out and get right here. I'm not going to do Miller's side. As long as we can minimize the idiots like Parker, uh, Rose, and Hunter Knights, we'll have a good team. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the exact opposite of what Parker Klingerman is. He's not good. We're at a quiet Daytona. It's peaceful, but what a day it was. Went a little incognito because we had some beef going on. We had some beef. Jeffrey Earnhardt versus Parker Kligerman. We're going to see how that carries in the season. I kind of got a lot of steps in following that one. Um, but another great day at the racetrack. A lot of action, a lot of content, a lot of work, but enjoyment. Uh, another fun day, but it just, you know, gets us ready for tomorrow. The Great American Race, Sunday, Daytona 500 is tomorrow, baby. Super excited. Last day here at Daytona, but it's going to be an amazing day. I will see you all in the morning. All right. It's Daytona Day, and we got Kristen Eckes' hauler still here. I don't know why. Maybe a late Daytona 500 entry. What they cooking up over here? Let's, let's, let's bum draft. The body looking for comfortability and they still run single file out the back If I sell two jars of honey, that's a tax write off. So, um, and I'm a farmer, so if anybody wants to buy some Haddish honey, um, I got that Haddish honey on deck. Um, I'm selling it for $3,000 a pound. <laughs> You think I'm playing? Somebody gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kay on the Pearson and Patty and all the guys. Um.
little bit of gap here. Kevin closes in contact with the 45. That's what also catches the 12. And then it's on. Uh, yeah, yeah I, mean, I figured towards that second stage, uh, business would pick up. So uh, that's pretty normal, I feel like. So unfortunate for us. Thank you. How would you summarize the weekend with the new Legacy Motor Club branding, Jimmy Johnson being here and everything? How would you summarize that? Just yeah, I mean, it was good. Get everybody out, kind of in the uh, in the action here to start. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get no or jimmy up here at the end um you know i know jimmy was up there for a bit with me so hopefully get him a good finish and cap off the weekend a little strong oh, oh the wreck big wreck big shove by larson and larson around goes, goes around. the three crash in turn three that fast unbelievable five. three wide good you got the help larson tried to go to the middle oh he got turned <laughs> and ricky stenhouse has won the daytona 500. <laughs> seems to be going pretty well last, so far. Uh, last three races here, got a top 20 in the 500 last year. Yep. Top, you have top 15 here, got a top 10 in the fall race last year. So I think uh, we just keep doing what we're doing. We obviously got something figured out to stay out of trouble and have a decent day. And with the eight and three on the front row, I thought that they might try kind of the old school restart of, you know, pulling down in front of each other. And... Oh. So we'll get that. Shoot, I did earlier today have a Celsius in my pool. I don't have any. Celsius? Yeah. They're, they're everywhere around here. I know. You walk enough in the garage, you'll probably just find them. The Dave's presence in going. the garage this year is insane for Celsius. This going to be perfect. They have bank Yeah. Oh, my God. What's that, Barb? Barb? What's up, everybody? RJ Starsvik here with Artez Kelly. We just got done covering the Great American Race at the World Center of Race of the Daytona 500. And it was a spectacular race once again. Uh, got done in pretty decent time, but obviously the lights were on for the finish. We had two overtime finishes. I believe it was the longest laps run in Daytona 500 history with all the, the overtime finishes and the laps run. But Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is the Daytona 500 champion. The first win for him in multiple years. The first win for JTG Doherty Racing in multiple years. And it's the first win for them as a combination together as a team. But, man, let's start off with you, Artez. I mean, what did you see today that kind of stuck out to you most in this Daytona 500? Well, well, for one, you know, JTG Doherty Racing. I mean, you know, this team has been around since 2008. We, they started off with the Wood Brothers in partnership. Yep. So, I mean, you know, that's an amazing win for them. Uh, first win since 2014, right, with, with Omadinger and Watkins yep. Glen. So, you know, amazing win for them. Uh, this race, in my opinion, uh, was was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it gave, it gave, it gave the, the watcher and the fan everything that it needed to give. Um, so, I mean, I'll say this was a pretty good Daytona 500. It was for sure. I mean, it had, for for you crash people, it had crashes. Yeah. Uh, you know, and for your for your strategy people, we had a lot of green flag pit stops, a lot of incidents, a lot of there were some mechanical failures throughout the race, a lot of good storylines to follow. But nonetheless, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is Daytona 500 champion. We got a, a, a long season to look forward to. This is only the beginning. We got 35 races to go, 36 if you count North Wilkesboro. So it's going to be a great season. And myself and our and, and, be and also and also um, Jody Gesichter. <laughs> is not the first woman to win <laughs> the Daytona 500. The second. The second. The second. Still history. Now, 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 um, Brad Doherty, first African-American to do it. Um, you know, that's congratulations to him. He wasn't even here. Or, oh, was yeah. here earlier. He was here. Now but, not. right. But we wish he was here. But, yeah, re yeah, wish he was here. But, um, you know, Therese Earnhardt was the first. Now <laughs> it's Jody Gushector as well, too. But congratulations to him. I mean, it's a small team. Exactly. You know, so. Single car organization, smaller team. We love to see those wins. Since 2011, uh, you know, yeah, Wood Brothers. Exactly. So 
big win for their team. Uh, big day, big weekend here for NASCAR. We had a great crowd. I believe another sellout crowd. We had great crowds for the Xfinity truck and ARCA races this week. I'm interested to see what the ratings are. Hopefully they're pretty good. But overall, great weekend here at Daytona International Speedway. And everybody, we're just getting started. Enjoy the rest of 2023.